Hello, this is Washington Unplugged Extra. Jock Friedley, president of Legistorm, a website which provides easy access to congressional salaries, has not made many friends on the Hill. Some have called him the most hated man in Washington. Jock, why is that? <laughs> well, um, uh, I've, uh, I've, I've made a lot of data accessible about the Congress that uh, a lot of congressional staffers and members of Congress don't want people to know about. Right, this is not just members, this is your this is congressional press staffers. secretary. That's right, yeah. the press secretary is chief of staff. Um, you know, mostly the senior uh, staffers have a lot more information about them, but you know, uh, junior staffers as well. Staffers on Capitol Hill have a lot of power in Washington, and, and um, you know, they're the ones who actually write the legislation. You know, members of Congress obviously are very involved, mm -hmm. but, but they're not the ones who actually write the legislation and deal with the lobbyists on, you know, a day in, day, day out basis. And, and so these the congressional staffers have always been uh, uh, behind the scenes in the shadows. That's, that's their job. That's their role. They're not supposed to be out there. Um, but you know the fact is they do have a lot of power, and I, I think it's really important to make uh, get get information out there about them. Explain how the salaries help people, or well, the information you put forward about yeah, staff. So we, helps people what, like we that. what we have is we have salaries. We have uh, all the privately financed travel. Uh, so when Microsoft decides that they want to send them to Seattle, uh, congressional staffers, or send them to a to a golf resort, um, we have that on our site. What we have. Uh, all the earmarks uh, that, mm. that Congress uh, puts into bills. We have all of the um, uh, all the financial disclosures of both members and, and uh, staffers. Uh, so you can find out a lot of information about, for example, uh, what conflicts of interest they might have with their investments. With and what kind of reaction has that gotten from well <laughs> folks on the Hill for you? Well, you know, the Washington Post uh, last week called me the devil incarnate uh, on Capitol Hill, or some see me as that. I, I, do I look like the devil <laughs> incarnate? Am I really that bad? Um, and uh, but people have come after you. I mean, they've well, pe people have been very uh, they, they've been very upset. I, I can't say that anybody's come after me with a, with a gun or anything <laughs> like that. But <laughs> I, uh, you know, the <laughs> but they no. They, there are, there are a lot of people who have been upset. There was a, a member of Congress who interest, introduced a bill to try to prevent us from uh, releasing salary data, for example, um, about all the congressional staffers. There was a uh, there was a, 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 a big uproar last year where all the chiefs of staff in the House of Representatives met and they tried to. Uh, get the House of Representatives to sue us. Of course, the lawyers uh, for the House said there's nothing really to, you know. Because th this, this information is, pu this is, is public. public information. It, 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 this is information that's already been public. But it, it used is made to be public by the Congress. Right. And, and, and it's just, it's in, it's in thick books. It's, it's sitting in Capitol Hill in dusty rooms. Um, and what we do is we put it out on the internet so that people can actually use the information and make it sortable, searchable, um, and available from Iowa or California or wherever people happen to be. What about, uh, uh, one of the things I thought was interesting is that um, the salaries of various staffers are, are mm -hmm. not determined by Congress, they are determined by the members, isn't that, That's right. isn't that right? So who, That's right. how does that play out in terms of staffers? What are some examples well, of that? Well, you, you have, uh, at the top end, you have congressional staffers who make, uh, you know, $165,000 a year uh, from the actual, um, uh, from the member's office itself, the taxpayer money. They can also make money on the side uh, from the campaign, but from the member's office, they can make $165,000. Frankly, that's not a lot of money for somebody who may be a lawyer um, on on K Street, where the the, the lobbyists are. Um, you know, they might be trading in a salary of three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand, eight hundred. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've seen you know million dollar salaries that have been traded in for you know somebody goes to, goes to Capitol Hill. So you know, it's it's uh, it's it's not necessarily an outrageous amount of money. Uh, on the low end, you actually find that people are being paid peanuts. You right. have you have lawyers out of Harvard or, or top schools who are making thirty some thousand dollars a year. But what makes people angry, presumably, is one is chief of staff. Uh, gets angry when his salary is more than his friend or colleague. Th that's or right, and and so I, there's a lot of disparity on the Hill. There's absolutely, uh, you know, in the federal government, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of similarity in in what people make. Um, you know, you know if they are a GS twelve, mm -hmm. step two, that they're going to make a certain amount of money, um, and you know if they have a certain amount of experience, they're going to make a certain amount of money. On Capitol Hill, all bets are off. You can make. A and tiny amount, you can make a lot of money. And quickly, what arguments do they, they give you? I mean, uh, when you, an email or in well, person or I, what? Well, you know, they, they, uh, they certainly, uh, I think the biggest outrage is, uh, you know, for them has been the publication of their financial disclosures, the information about their investments and their, um, uh, where their spouses work. 
and they're very upset that you know they just they think it's all personal information and yes they have to disclose it but they don't think that disclosure means that it should be published on the internet they don't want their neighbors to know yeah they don't want their neighbors to know and, and has traffic been up on them I mean, people are coming to the site oh yeah well, I mean it? every every day we have uh, actually you know Capitol Hill staffers the ones who love us the most I mean they hate us and they love us they they're the ones who actually are uh, on the site the most uh, looking up uh, you know every time they go into a meeting with somebody a across Capitol Hill they want to know you know what they're making they want to know what they they're, um, they want to know some basic information about them, about and we have that information. Who's across from the table. Okay, yeah. great. Jack, thanks so much for talking yeah. to us. Thank you, John. You're watching Washington Unplugged on CBSNews.com.